From a spider with the head of a rabbit to a horrifying mantis cannibal, here are 10 of the strangest and most unbelievable insects and arachnids. Number 10. Rabbit Spider The rabbit spider sounds like some kind of crazy hybrid experiment created by a mad scientist, and that's exactly why it's the first on our list today for the strangest insects and arachnids ever. This odd and terrifying arachnid has a black bunny head on its torso, eight long freaky legs, and yes, it's 100% real. It was recently photographed by a nature scientist in the Amazon rainforest of Ecuador, and it's a seriously formidable beast. But just what exactly is this spider doing with a rabbit's head on its back? Well, it's not actually a spider. It's properly known as a bunny harvestman, and it's a type of arachnid you may be familiar with, a species known as daddy longlegs. There are over 6,000 species of harvestmen across the planet. There are even fossil records that show they've been around for millions of years, way before dinosaurs ever roamed the Earth. This particular species was found in 1959. Scientists believe that the arachnid evolved to the unusual shape of its body as a defense mechanism. The bunny ears and bright yellow dots make it appear as though it's larger and meaner than it really is, which scares away predators. Unlike other species, they only have one pair of eyes. If you are a little freaked out by these arachnids, don't worry. The bunny harvest man is not dangerous to humans. Number 9. The Assassin Bug I wonder what a bug with this name does. The Assassin Bug is not only a strange insect, it's also one of the most disturbing insects known to mankind. The Assassin Bug has a gruesome habit of covering itself in the corpses of other insects after it feasts upon their insides. It's like something out of a horror movie for bugs. The Assassin Bug lives in the forests of Malaysia, it's only about half an inch in size, and yet its ferocity is known all over the world. The sneaky assassin bug captures its victims and then injects them with a special enzyme to dissolve their innards. This makes it easier for the assassin bug to suck out their insides. It basically turns unfortunate victims into a juice box, which it then straps onto its back so that it looks more fearsome. The assassin bug literally harnesses the empty exoskeleton of whichever bug it just ate onto its body using a special sticky secretion. The result is that it walks around with a back full of corpses. Of course, the assassin bug doesn't just do this for fun. It's a defense mechanism. All the corpses stuck to its back work kind of like a suit of armor. Researchers from the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Canterbury concluded after an in-depth study that an assassin bug covered in corpses is 10 times less likely to be attacked by its main predator, the jumping spider. This is because spiders are naturally fearful of ants, as they have the ability to swarm and easily defeat any measly jumping spider. Number 8. The Devil's Flower Mantis Out of all the insects creeping and crawling around the planet, the mantis is by far one of the most fearsome out there. There's nothing more horrifying than watching a mantis eat another insect alive. These are savage predators most commonly found in Africa. The Devil's Flower Mantis is one of the strangest and also one of the most famous species of mantis ever found. It's a huge insect which can grow to be 4-5 to five inches in length and looks a lot like a pile of leaves. But the Devil's Flower Mantis isn't born with its leafy brown colouring. They are actually born black, which scientists believe is supposed to mimic ants so that predators don't try to eat them. And while there are other mantises out there that prey on a wide variety of insects, the devil's flower mantis only consumes flies. It can of course eat other insects, but it doesn't want to. Young nymphs eat fruit flies while adult mantises eat a collection of bottle flies and moths. In the wild, the devil's flower mantis will sit completely still in a safe location and spend its entire day snatching unsuspecting flies when they get too close. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome! Thanks for watching! Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. Cuckoo Bee The cuckoo bee is by far the funkiest little bee on Earth. It has evolved quite independently from other bee species. What's really fascinating about this bee is what it does in order to survive. It's a parasitic creature, meaning it uses another animal to help itself thrive. In this case, the cuckoo bee lays its eggs inside of another bee's nest. The cuckoo bees then hatch earlier than the other bees, at which point they eat all the eggs of the bees that actually live in the nest. Savages! The cuckoo bee larvae have larger mandibles than the other bee larvae, allowing them to easily destroy all the other larvae before they even have a chance to live. It's a pretty nasty strategy, but one that has worked out well for the cuckoo bee. The cuckoo bee also looks different from others. They don't have a lot of hair, making them look a bit more like wasps. 
Also, since they don't actually need to feed their young, they don't collect pollen. They hang out on flowers drinking the nectar, but only so they have enough energy to ravage the nests of normal bees. If they do any pollination, it's totally by accident. Number 6. Pipe Vine Swallowtail Caterpillar There is an insane amount of caterpillars on Earth, but by far one of the strangest is the California Pipe Vine Swallowtail. It's a fascinating creature for one main reason. They look extremely cool. The Pipe Vine Swallowtail Caterpillar grows to be extremely dark, with big orange spikes all over its body. Spikes! These caterpillars look a lot more like angry centipedes than fluffy caterpillars. They are also toxic. According to the United States National Park Service, the pipe vine swallowtail primarily feeds on the shoots of the California pipe vine, and in doing so ingests the plant's chemicals. This makes the caterpillar toxic to eat, though it's unlikely poisonous enough to kill a human. And why would a human be eating caterpillars anyway? And like all caterpillars, the pipe vine swallowtail eventually transforms into a gorgeous butterfly. In butterfly form, the pipe vine swallowtail still has its black and orange colouring, except that now it has remarkably glossy wings and flies around drinking nectar. Number 5. The Scorpion-Tailed Spider If you're the kind of person who is easily freaked out by scorpions and spiders, the last little creature you ever want to meet in the wild is the Scorpion-Tailed Spider. This strange monster is exactly what it sounds like. It's a spider equipped with the tail of a scorpion. It's a type of orb weaver spider that was first found in 1863, primarily distributed across East Asia. They aren't very long, only growing to be about one inch. However, the female spider is a bit longer and comes equipped with a scorpion tail, which they use when threatened to ward off predators. The tail doesn't actually sting, and they aren't actually related to scorpions, but they certainly look frightening enough. The proper name for this spider is the arachnura. They spend most of their time sitting in the very centres of their webs, all day and all night. They are fairly well protected from birds, because they have evolved to look like pieces of plant debris when hiding in their web in plain sight. In fact, you probably wouldn't even recognise one if you walked by its web in the wild, as you would just think that a leaf had gotten stuck in the spider's web. And even though the arachnura looks horrifying, it's actually not dangerous to humans. The worst that can happen from a bite is a bit of pain and swelling. Number 4. Brazilian Tree Hopper the Brazilian treehopper isn't a scary insect by any means, but it is definitely a weird one. According to Science Focus, the Brazilian treehopper is only the size of a pea and dwells in the rainforest of South America. The really fascinating thing about the treehopper is its head. It has two pairs of balls jutting out from what almost looks like a helicopter propeller on the top of its head. Scientists are still not sure what the two pairs of balls are used for, but they believe it could be something like a peacock's tail where males use it to show off how impressive they are to females. But this might not be the case, considering both males and females have sets of balls on their heads. A secondary explanation for the Brazilian treehopper's strange headdress is that it could be a sort of distraction for predators, causing them to aim at the balls over the insect's head when attacking, which would allow the Brazilian treehopper to run away. But wait for it, because the third theory is the most bonkers. Deep in the jungles of the Amazon, there is a type of parasitic fungus that invades the bodies of ants and then bursts out of them, creating massive globs of fungus on the heads of the deceased insect. Some scientists say that the Brazilian treehopper evolved to mimic the parasitic fungus. That way, any smart predator would stay away from the treehopper and the balls on its head instead of risking infection. Wait a second, does it really hop from tree to tree? Not exactly, but they can leap fairly long distances for arachnids. Number 3. Spitting Spiders Spiders are scary enough with their fangs, their venom, their webs, and their overabundance of eyes and legs. They have quick reflexes, they're creepy to look at, and they don't have many fans. So why do spitting spiders even exist? Unfortunately, science doesn't have an answer to this question. What science does know is that spitting spiders are a unique species of arachnids that have the ability to fire sticky nets of silk from a distance just like Spider-Man. This spider is able to shoot a bomb of silk about 90 feet per second, pinning down prey from a distance. Rather than sitting in a nest waiting for an insect to come to them, the spitting spider takes a more aggressive approach. It goes out and hunts. They will hide out during the day, but at night, turn into a beast of prey. It comes equipped with what can only be described as a net gun, capturing its victims from the shadows without them ever knowing it was there. Don't fret, they are harmless to humans. There are also about 239 species of spitting spider, and they are found throughout every part of the globe. Number 2. Spiny Flower Mantis The Devil's Flower Mantis is definitely pretty cool, but the Spiny Flower Mantis is even cooler. 
It's found throughout southern and eastern Africa. This little bug only measures up to 2 inches. Plus, they are wildly unique. Not only do they look absolutely fabulous with their colourful designs and bright pink eyes, but they are also savage cannibals. The spiny flower mantis usually prefers to sit in the same spot and snatch pollinating insects to eat as they fly. They have also been known to cannibalise each other. Believe it or not, the males are the ones who have the most to be afraid of. Scientists have discovered that the spiny flower mantis female will often eat the male directly after mating, and sometimes even during. Right after the male connects his abdomen to the female's abdomen to mate, she'll turn around and start to eat him. Number 1. The Disco Spider The Disco Spider sounds kind of like a really horrible dance club that went out of business, but it's actually a real arachnid. The spider was recently photographed in Singapore, and people are going crazy over its unique appearance. Right off the bat, the Disco Spider has a massive disco ball on its abdomen, hence the name. Its body looks like it's made up of tiny little mirrors, which might seem strange as a defence mechanism since predators will be able to easily spot it. However, it's actually a clever disguise. When predators try to eat the disco spider, all of the lights reflecting off its disco ball body confuses whoever is trying to eat them. The shimmering spots will scatter lights just like a disco ball, throwing any predators into a confused frenzy. This will typically allow the spider to get away. Thanks for watching. Have you ever seen any of these strange insects in real life? Let me know your stories in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to come back soon for another great video. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.